I have a bunny feeling that it's time for Easter. Today we're going to be dressing Nyla Cedar, my full body silicone, who you guys probably know very well at this point, into a nice Easter outfit that she's never tried on before. Excited about that. Ah, uh, here's her mittens. I had wondered where those went. We'll put those mittens on her right now. I grew up celebrating Easter as a child. I don't really celebrate or decorate as an adult. But I thought it would be fun to dress her in this nice little bunny outfit. I think this material at the collar is seersucker and there's like a rainbow array of bunnies with their little fuzzy tails that are actually cotton. And there's a ruffle of buttons in the back. So it's just a one piece. We'll see what accessories I can find to go with this today. Growing up with my Easter baskets each year, of course, I always got a doll or four. <laughs> And also a chocolate bunny, the hollow kind. The milk chocolate ones were my favorite. And now I like white chocolate the best. Comment below what's your favorite Easter candy to receive. Jelly beans. Or just chocolate. Yes, I always leave her onesie on underneath just for extra protection since these dolls are so, so delicate. Let's see if I can find something to go with her outfit oh yeah she's got these bunny pants they're some of my favorites I know you're not technically supposed to put pants over an outfit like this but let's just see how it looks my mom picked out this outfit not specifically for Nyla, but she picked it out along with some other outfits. And so it's more her style than mine because I'm not big on like ruffles or the 80s and 90s style of dressing. I kind of like the more modern stuff myself the best. And I thought maybe to make this outfit look a little more modern... It would be a good idea to add pants to make it modern. That's my opinion. It's also a bit spacious. But for photos or something, I could pin the neck. The neckline is what's the big, biggest part, which is a little annoying. So you guys can see her closer up. I like it with pants better. It kind of dresses it down. It's more casual. But of course, uh, if you're somebody that actually celebrates the Easter holiday and goes to church or whatever, then I guess you would want it to be fancier. But we're not doing all that. We're just at the house chilling and I like the pants. Let's change her mittens to the pink ones. If I can find them, I just had them. Here they are. Pink matches the outfit better since now she's got pink bunnies at her ankles and pink bunnies at the neckline. This looks better to me. 
and these little yellow socks that are super, super soft. I think they were mine as a baby. We're going to add the socks. And I think we'll add shoes that I wore as a baby that were knitted by probably one of my great grandmothers. Because I think it will go with this outfit really well. Since it's a very spring, springy, preppy, southern style Easter with a hint of modern. That's, that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> Don't question it. I just made it up, but. <laughs> there we go. She looks so real. She looks super real with the hands and feet covered. Let's turn her this way. The lighting coming through the window might make her look better from this angle. Okay, here's the little shoes. You guys may have seen these in another video before. I can't remember. But these are the handmade ones by one of my relatives that I was talking about. They're very well made and they have like a pom-pom and they're knit material. Typically not really my thing because it's a very classic look, handmade items, but for a Easter look, I think it's super cute. Here's her little booties up close. It's a really rainy day. I feel like I say that almost every video, but it just rains a lot here in North Carolina where I'm at. In college at UNCG, they called it Little Seattle, like people from out of state, because it really does rain a ton. And let's also add this nice dark pink pacifier and pacifier clip. Oh, you guys, I've just remembered. I forgot to button the back. That might help a little bit, but it's still going to be loose. And don't anybody be talking bad about her hair. It is well cared for. It just gets a little bit matted in the back. And that's just the nature of silicone dolls like this. But I realized that really the only comment I've had about that was from somebody on Valentine's Day out of all days of the year. So I guess they were just miserable and lonely and bless their hearts. So they came on to attack this poor doll who can't even defend herself. Oh, lousy Henry. But anyway, anything like that gets removed, you know. So it's just a waste of time to put hateful things on the internet when they get automatically removed by YouTube or deleted or pushed to the bottom. It's just not worth it. Look how cute this is. <laughs> I mean, she's cute in every outfit, you guys. It's hard to come up with new expressions. <laughs> Here's her Easter basket, you guys, with a bunny rabbit that's a rattle and a nice Zaff Creation rag doll. I would add a hat or something, but you guys know how finicky her little hair is and it gets so messed up. So I won't be doing that, but it's adorable nonetheless. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you have a lovely holiday weekend.